Good morning, everyone. Humble here. Oh, look at the desktop in 1080p. You know what that means, don't you? Yes. A little bit of something I'd like to share with you today. Uh, this is especially for Gearmeister William. If he wants to uh, learn a little bit more about the 3D and the steps that you use to prepare yourself, which makes it a whole lot easier. And I'm going to just go right into it right here and now. So first of all, let's get rid of the antivirus because we're not going to need that. I've got it unplugged from the uh, internet, so we don't need anything monkeying around in the background. Pulling its happy monkey business, which is nothing but a pain in the ass half the time. Okay, I love it. Go lay down. Okay, so here's what we are. See this little BRM? Well, we're going to check into this little puppy right now. And this is not him. Let's, oh yes, it is him. Yep, it is. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's get this reasonable sized. And you'll notice there's no data folder. I'm going to show you how to, how to get that. And also, I'm going to show you how to begin right here unpacking the textures. Wait a minute, what's this? That's different. They're already unpacked. Well, isn't that bizarre? Now, wait a minute. Something's gone awry here. Let me... All right, hang on. Let's not go bananas. Okay, let's do this one instead because I want to show you right from the very beginning how we're going to get started. Okay, so what we need is Lotus 49. Let's get a new folder here. Okay. Now you'll notice that there's no textures that we can monkey with other than we can look at the flames and, and we don't actually see any flames uh, because they don't offer them. They're just folders, okay? Or files, rather. So basically we can probably take these and stick them right in the Lotus folder, okay? And we don't have anything in here right now. So we have to come over here to... Um, all desktop folders. Well, actually, let's just grab. All right, we've got four of them here. They're they're okay, but they're not wonderful. Let's come down to humbles. Let's go to. Just bear with me a little bit here, just for a moment, and you'll see why we're doing it this way. Let's take a look at these puppies. Oh, these are nice. I like to see these little things because it makes a big difference. Oh, where the hell did it go? Oh, you knucklehead. Hang on. Back around the round. Well, this is what takes time, but don't worry about it. Flames. All right, there they are. You did it again. The knucklehead gone to seed. Grab the fuckers. Copy. Now put them in here. Paste. All right, now we know we got good flames. Trouble is we need a little more than flames. Oh, wonderful. Well, you didn't think of that in advance. We're going to have to have Squonky in here. I can see that now. We need the display on and display off, and it's not the clapper. Copy. Why don't we just minimize that and paste? Okay, now we need that. But we're going to also want to find out everything else that's in there. So the reason why we're doing it this way is for this reason. Watch. We're going to take everything that you can see right now from here to here, and we're going to move it into the Lotus 49 folder. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to open the Lotus 49 folder. We just want the top can 5 copy okay just the top one and we're gonna go paste alright 
Now, now that we've done that, there's a reason for this, because we're going to unpack it with the CAN5 converter. And what we have to do is left mouse click, double click it, and it will unpack everything nice. And when it says finish, press any key, I hit the space bar, remove my little program, back down to the desktop where he's happy, and we can get rid of these right here. Now sometimes there's a whole pile of these rascals. They're all stuff we don't need. Okay? Delete. But now we've got textures that show all of our textures, including our displays and the flames we just put in. But we're going to want to add something to this. It's called Common Chrome because we're going to be going into the... Uh, actually, I'm going to show you another way. Well, I'm going to show you this way, and then there's, there'll always be another way to do it. Textures and Materials right here. Uh, that was another folder I, I left saved. Now we want Common Chrome. There's Common Chrome 4. Let's just grab it. Copy. And bring this out a little bit so no harm comes to anything. I like to have a little more white space. And paste. But we want to change the name. The regular old common chrome. So don't get the little nibbler at the end. So make sure that little dot's there. Okay, we're happy? Okay, we needed that. And I'm going to show you what happens next. Now, we're going to want to... See, we don't have a data folder yet, but that's easy. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Let's go back into this one. And now we're going to get everything but this. So we're going to come from here to here and drag them right over. Boop. And then we're going to go... Actually, we're not going to bother with these because I'm going to show you what to do with them. We're going to grab this to this and drag it over there. So the only thing we're left with is all of our CAN5 files. Okay? We're left with all of these, the master one, and then progressively down. So let's go out of there. Now, what we want to do is we want to um, use this, but we got to have a data folder. So in order to get the data folder, watch how awesome this is. Jody shows me a ton of stuff. He's a brilliant fellow. Let's get rid of this monkey business. Let's get rid of it now. So we have fresh monkey business. Let's come up to here. Now, I was, I was trying to tell William how to adjust your UI scale and how much it works. Now, we're at 1080p, so if you want to barely be able to see it, you can. And if you want to oversee it, you can. But for 1080p, 100% works really nice. So once we go to this, let's go to Drive. Now, what is this? There's our McLaren. We, we don't really want him right this minute. We want this thing. Knucklehead gone to seed, Lotus 49. Okay, well, Lotus 49 is as easy as that. Watch. Alt-J. Boop. Now we got it. So now we come out of here and go back to our Lotus 49 and we have a data folder. Isn't that wonderful? So, and we got one for the little BRM whenever we monkey with it. So open up the data folder. We're going to see that we have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. We got arrows. We got blurred objects. Um, and we, there's a reason I'm showing you this. Pay attention now. Come on down to where we go to LADS. Not to be cons uh, fused with LADS. Now we want to we want to open it with this Notepad plus plus, and he ended up way over here for some oddball reason. Come here, fuzzy. Come over. Come here. Grab that a boy. All right. I don't know why he went way over there, but he did. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Now your cockpit distance is going to uh, only be up to 7. Your driver, you'll be visible up to 25. Uh, here's your main LOD. See this, this number on the bottom one? 2,000. Control C that. Come up to your top one right here. And we're going to control V that. Then we're going to take this, this, and this. And we're going to delete them. Bam, see ya. It would always be a good idea to keep a, a copy of this originally, but we didn't. 
So spunk it. Let's minimize the size of this so that when it comes back to something else, it may remember. All right, let's go to our file, file, and get rid of all recents, and get out of here, okay? So now it's only going to read that one. Now something else I'm going to do, because we are going to change the wheels to, um, uh, well, the reason why we're doing that is when we change the wheels to chrome, if the other LODs, uh, one, two, and three, or four, whatever the deal, didn't have the same change, it would not run in the game. So we're going to leave this alone for right now, and we're not going to monkey with it. We're not going to monkey with anything else right now until we go into the um, 3D editor. So we're going to just back out of here and then minimize, okay? Now here's all of our parts that we saved, just in case, all right? Just in case there's a huge F up. We saved those. All right. Beautiful. Now, we're going to want to go into the 3D editor for two reasons. First of all, we're going to um, think of what car we would like to use as a, as a host car for textures and whatever we might want to. Well, no, we're not. We're not going to do that much to this. All we're going to do is just the, the chrome. So did we put the common chrome in the Lotus? Let's make sure we did. Um, yes, we did. Okay, that's all we need to know. Ah, but what else do we need? We don't have a materials folder. M-A-T-E-R-I-A-L-S. And there's a reason for this, okay? There's our materials folder. Now... We're going to need a material to put in here that has the right chrome. So let's go to materials. Um, that's not going to do it. All right, hang on. That's not going to do it. Bear with me. Oh, balls. Well, it must still be out here on the desktop, then. It is. Okay. There it is. And if we wanted anything else to add to the car, we could we could snag it from stuff like this that I've saved from other cars. So we're going to copy this right here. Correct single axle. That's all we want. We're going to put this in our materials right there. And we are ready to try this. Now we're doing the Lotus 49. Okay, beautiful. So let's come over and find uh, our 3D SIMED shortcut. Double click it. And this is our first screen we're going to see. So we want to import what we want to use. So let's go to cars. You'll have to, The first time you do this, you're going to have to walk through the whole system in order to find your cars folder, wherever you've stored it. And the Lotus 49 is here. Double click it. And we're going to double click the only one we have, which is the top one. We double click this. And just say yes to it. And there's our little car. See him? Happy little guy. All right. Now that we see our happy little guy, and we can move him around and monkey with him a little bit. Come over here to file. Come down to save. Now, see single axle? Read. Content cars. Cosmic Motors Gravion. Wrong car. Now we want to come over to our little Lotus 49. We go to materials, see it, correct single axle. We're going to leave the name the same. And this will store texture paths as relative. That's what we wanted to do. Now, it's happy. 
Now, whatever we want to make chrome, we can make chrome by using this. Now, now that we're here in this little screen, it's a shame we don't see it better than we do because uh, in 1080p, you're not only given a short little wee screen, normally it's it's uh, quite a bit more extensive. But if you need to adjust the light, my, uh, William, above the con left control, there is a, a up arrow. Push the up arrow down, and then wherever you move your mouse, you're going to be able to adjust the light. In this, see the, where the yellow is? That's where the light's coming from. So hopefully, I mean, you can fuck it up right to there. Now, there we go. See, now let go of everything and you're happy. That's where the light's going to be. All right? So let's do this thing. We go back to import, but this time we're importing. Now we look at what car we've got. Materials, correct single axle. And as soon as it's blue highlighted, hit open. There he is right there. We, what we want to do is edit it. So we hit edit. We come over here to copy all. And we get out of here. Then we come back to paste faces. And there he is right there. See the little guy? But he's in the wrong place. Over here is all our coordinates. We're, this one brings it back. This one brings it up. All right. Now we want to get it reasonable. So you get it into a place where you can see it pretty good. And we're going to bring that back some more. You just kind of wiggle waggle it until you're happy. Bye eye. And uh, you know, you, you, you move it as much as you think you should. And then we're going to have to move this one up. I don't know if it'll take a 7, but we'll try it. Uh, we overdid it, so it's not a 7. So we think it might be a 67. And... This thing you can leave or not. It's up to you. But we got to go back farther. Let's try a 9 and see what happens. That's not enough. So we know we need a 7 here. Or more. But maybe only a 72. Okay. So now we got it pretty well. And this little thing here is the highlight. So you can see it when it's inside of something else or not. And we can see that we got it pretty well happy but what we wanted is we want the, the texture of it more than anything else and we have to harvest that right now we can come back in another time and remove this but it's only here for now so we want to right click see the arrow watch we come over here onto this we right click we go to material it says chrome suspension we left mouse click it come up here to this it's going to say copy material all right now, whatever we want to turn chrome like that, um, let's say we, we touch right here. We have Mac parts. Oh, fuck. Everything we touch right here is going to turn to uh, chrome if we do this this way. All right. It's going to get more extensive that I didn't plan on, but we're going to have to live with it. So let's go over here to material EXT rim NM. We don't want the tire. We want this. So we come up here to paste material. And we just chromed our wheels. Just like that. Now we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's going to get a little more extensive than you thought. Now, see, I'm, I'm sneaking over here to, to touch the gear shift lever. Now, if we want to see that better, all I have to do is the uh, arrow keys, side to side, up and down, I can... Do that, and I mouse wheel till I'm closer, and I up arrow key, and I can now move my up arrow key some more, and I can get a better view of what I'm seeing here. Now I'm going to right mouse click this, and see if I can get a different, there. See that? Now watch. Hit this one where I can keep it highlighted. But I come over here to paste material. Now, if I take this off, you'll see it go to pink. Now, if I want to do the edges of the, of the gauges, I can. Cockpit metal is going to now be changed to this. And this is how you do it. Um, is there anything else in here I would like to change while I'm here? Uh, how about the nuts on the end of this thing? I could do that, so we're going to. 
Watch. It ta paste material. Okay. Now, what about the edges of this? Um, we could do those. All right. Now, if you want to get out of this view, come to view, hit reset view. Now I come back to where I once belonged. All right. So this is what we've got so far. These are the things that we have that are chrome. Now, if I want to chrome other things, that parts of this, like if I want to chrome the trumpets or what have you, it's going to be a little bit of a process. Uh, it can be done, but it's going to be a little bit of a process. So you, you're getting a little deeper in your thought. I'm going to go for the springs right now. We can't do the springs. Everything is one great big lump at this point. And this is going to get more extensive than I really wanted to do with, with one single uh, deal. But if we do it this way, see the object? If we come over here and grab the object, like this, we can see that we got it right there. Okay, now if I go to just the spring part, it's, not, it's, it's going to do the whole effing thing. I don't really want to do the whole effing thing. I would have to take it apart piece by piece, and it's more bullshit than I want to get into right now. So we're just going to leave it alone. Um, I do want to do the pipes, though. So we're going to have to do something about this. All right, let's go to uh, round two. Let's grab onto the pipes. It's called Geo Chassis, okay? We're going to grab Geo Chassis, and we're going to one, two, three, four over. We're going to touch that, and there's our Geo Chassis. We're going to save it. Go to File, Save. Now make a new folder. G-E-O-C-H-I-S-S. -S. How do you spell chassis? Well, fuck it. What are we lacking? Good enough. Chisses? Well, I can't spell for shit, but we ain't going to worry about it. Geo chassis stock. All right. Now save them. Because we're going to start changing this shit around uh, amazingly right now. Okay, so see, we saved the stock one, so we ain't going to hose the piss out of this. So what we do now, we got our Geo chassis stock saved. We're going to line him up because we're going to cut off everything but the engine right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to go back to edit. And see this thing says explode all? Hit that. And sit, hit yes. Boop. Now it's all apart from one another. Now, we hit the control and our left mouse button will open up this uh, snagger. We grab the snagger and everything that's in faces, we hit delete. All right, it's gone. It's, we just fucking booted that shit. Now, in order to move this where you want to, you use your uh, arrow keys. All right, so we got the uh, ass end of the car uh, snipped off like a bastard. Um, quite frankly, we probably, all right, now that we got this snipped off like it is, let's, let's do a better job of snipping it. Get it as square as you can because that's what we're going to have to use. Again, lasso the sucker. And bring it up to, I hate to do it, but we're going to, right to there and boot this. All right. So now we got a better ass end of the thing. Makes a little more sense. Okay. So what we want to do, now we take a look at it. What do you want to make chrome and what do you want to leave alone? This is your decision. Uh, because we're going to cut away everything that we don't want to be chrome. All right. Uh, so we wanted the pipes to be chrome, and we wanted the uh, in top trumpet injectors to be chrome. Is this correct? All right. So everything else has got to go. All right. It's a shame, but it's... Well, wait a minute. There might be another way to do this. Let's touch... The, oh, there is. Watch this. Material right here. Grab this. 
Hang on a second. All right. We just chromed them bastards. Beautiful. Let's try for the pipes. Ah, uh, there's where we're going to have a problem. All right. Well, we could chrome those fuckers easy enough. What about what about these? All right. See, we're we're screwed. Um, everything else is is named the same thing. The only thing we can do is cut off, cut everything out of here that we don't want. Uh, what about this thing? No, everything is made out of the same thing. All right. Well, we got to get out the scalpel now. All right, cut this shit out, just the way I told you. Left control, left mouse. Grab only the bare essentials and get rid of it. Boot. Gonna have to do the same thing with the engine. Boot. Boot. Don't worry about it. Remember we saved the original. Besides, we're not really fucking with the one that's on the car. We're only fucking with the one we grabbed off of the car. That's probably not the way to put it. But try not to touch anything other than, than exactly what... Oh, that, that was a good snag. That was a doggone good snag. I like that. Oh, oh this is not so shabby. Remember I told you that you can get closer by doing it this way? Wait a minute. All right. This might come out to be in our favor. There's no way of doing this any faster and have it come out good. You have got to be patient and take your time. There's no two ways about it. Because if you don't, you're going to wish you had. Because this is the time to do this. And or it's not going to come out right. This is going to be tricky enough as it is when we have to replace this fucker. So, uh-oh. And if you have an uh-oh moment, come to undo and hit that. It'll go back to the one undo spot where you just made an F up. Okay, now, let's sit back and see what we've got here. Well, we can't very well without doing it this way. Okay. Fuck. Hang on, just bear with me. All right, hang on, hang on. I'm not so crazy about keeping this right here. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, it got part of the part of the, part of the pipes. You got to be very very careful with this. See like this, you have to be very very careful. All right, I don't know what this thing is. I don't think we want it though. All right, that cleaned up a great deal of it and we saved our pipes. So you don't, you gotta be very careful you don't eradicate shit that you don't want to eradicate. It's very unforgiving. I mean, it thinks you know what you're doing and uh, if you don't, well, you're the poor sap that's gonna figure it out. But this is how you dress up an engine like this is uh, you sit here and nip off all the stuff that you don't want to be chrome. And it, it does seem like a lot of work because, it, quite frankly, it is. But it's not as much work as the people who originally built this sucker. I can tell you that much right now. The original person who did this really busted their ass. Uh, 
know, you've got to make sure nothing is below it because it has no uh, discrepancy on whether uh, it takes it off completely or what. If it sees anything below what you're doing, it's history. All right. Now, we don't want this little thing right here. But we do want the nuts. Okay. Because they're going to look nice. Now we, all right, just bear with me. We got to adjust with the little arrow keys to get a, a real nice view of this. Because we want to get rid of the pipe. But we don't want to get rid of anything to do with, with the uh, headers. Include, but yeah, remember, as I told you, you can't have anything. It's it doesn't it it'll go f into infinity trying to remove shit. So, is there anything we can get from here that we don't want? Ah, yes, there is. There's a whole big piece of this. Don't let anything touch that other piece. Oh, that was close. I, I forgot it was attached to something on the other side. What's this thing? There's no fast way to show you this. I wish I'd love to tell you there is. This is just the way it works. I'm going to try to scoot along at a decent pace. Um... Hang on, wrong side. What is the back of that? I'd kind of like to get rid of that. Or it's going to turn out chrome, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Now, actually this is not a bad thing. Watch. If I can sneak this down between there and touch nothing else, However you want to do it. I got a big portion of that thing. See there's a little tag me down. Get that little guy while you're at it. Uh, I don't think we need this. All right. Um. This should go. The little tag me's. Hang on, now just bear with me. We're cut, scooting along at a good pace if I don't make a F up. The old famous last words. See how I'm behind? I, I'm shooting away from the, the uh, stuff that I definitely don't want to hit. You're going to see how this works in a minute. And I can hear you. But won't it have the same name as the original? It does right now, but it's not going to, or it wouldn't be worth the shit what we're trying to accomplish. All right. Let's see what we've got and what we don't have. Now we don't want this thing to end up chrome. We want to get rid of that, but hang on. Let's go back to adjust view. This way we can swing around and we can see that we don't want any of this right here. This we don't need, any of that. That's the back of the engine. You don't want one part to be different than the rest. See how it, it just doesn't take the whole thing like you would think it would because it doesn't know if you want to take the whole thing. It's giving you the choice to take what you want or not. Sometimes it thinks it knows what you want, but other times it doesn't. 
Remember, don't touch anything to do with the pipes or you've screwed them up. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do the whole build with you today. I'm just going to show you the basics on how you would begin to do this, which is what we're doing right here, just covering the basics. But this, whenever you see one of the things that I've done, to where you see, oh, look at the chrome is different than the original. Look at this, look at that. This is the type of stuff you have to go through in order to get it that way. It just doesn't come any easier than this. It's just the way it is. All right, now, we don't want these hang-me-downs. We're very close to being done with this part, so just stick with me a little bit. I've got other stuff to do, like take a leak. But for right now, we're going to deal with this. All right, now this little piece I want to take off right there. Hopefully it'll take the whole thing, which it didn't. There it got at that time, most of it. But remember, make sure that nothing can be seen in the background, or it'll take that too. Now that was nice, because they're, they're going to look good. Uh, what about this flat piece right here? We don't want this flat piece. Left control, just a little wiggly waggly, and be careful. And we got to take this one out. There we go. Not too shabby. I could get rid of those little legs that are underneath it. Better if I could see better than what I just did, but it did work for the time being. See, that's really where you shouldn't cut corners. You should be in there close enough to see. All right, everything here is going to be chrome. Um, right here and right now. So what we do... Oh, wait, we don't want the little uh, screens to be chrome. No, we don't. Oh, fuck, I took half of one of them things off. What do you do when that happens? We go to... Oh, fuck, where is it? Wait, go to edit. And go to undo. Okay. Now, in fact, I think the screens are named something else. So I'm not going to worry about the fucking screens. I think they are. Yeah, they're definitely named something else. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, that's okay. They are named something else, so we don't have to sweat them. We don't have to sweat those little bastards. Okay, so what we do, we come over here and we find out the name of this, like that. Come over to the name. EXT Mech Parts 2. All right? Very important we name it first. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to change everything to chrome just like that we just changed everything to chrome except the little snabblers all right are we happy we are because we named it a different name now we're going to save this shooting match geo chassis cli ppe clipped and chromed clipped and chromed okay open that up now we got to name this Geo Chassis 33. All right, save it. Okay, are you happy? Now watch what happens. We get out of here, and we unhighlight this. Here comes the interesting part. We come up to Home, go to Import, see where we are. We go to materials, we go to geo chassis stock clipped and chromed, we highlight this and hit open. Now we're going to see what we just did. We're going to hit edit. Now we're going to hit copy. Now we're going to come out of here and we're going to hit paste faces. And look, it jumped everything on there that we wanted. Praise God. In one big shot. How's that grab us? Now, 
because we really wanted these to be also chrome. Come down here, Material Tech uh, Kia Tolanti, and chrome them bastards. And we're happy. That's all we wanted to do for, to, for right this minute. All right? We're happy as a mouse. So what we do is we come over to the green arrow and we solidify the deal. Now we have to export the textures, which are right here, to, does this open? It does. How nice. To, uh, all right, look where we are. Lotus 49, we want to come down until we find our textures folder. And it's going to say to us that it doesn't have any understanding whatsoever of common chrome. See? But we know it's there because we put it there in advance. So we hit OK. Now we want to export a KN5 file. And it can't be named 49. It's got to be named C-H-R-O-M-E-D Special. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. It can be named Old Cat Third if you want to. But we want it to show up there. Under this one. So we hit save. Okay. Give it a moment to gather its shit together. Come out of here. We're done with this. Come back to our actual unit. Which is the Lotus 49. And here we see Chrome Special. We want to right mouse click to copy. And to paste it onto the desktop. Okay. That's what we just did. Now we want to drag the original one off. That's untouched. In case this turns out to be a ball of spikes, which it could, I hope it doesn't, we have the original. Okay, now we want to rename this one exactly the same as the original. Hit delete, and we are ready to go take a look at our car. So we come back into our happy unit. We see that we are at the Lotus 49. Um, go to the CM showroom. <clears throat> And the little guy will begin to load. And you will see now that we have beautiful chrome stacks. We have chrome little bars. We have chrome uh, exhaust. And it's a very special looking little guy. Now to the extent we want to really go ape shit, we could start fiddle fucking around with other things. But this is a great start for you right here and now so you can see how to get started. Now if we look on the interior... We will notice nice chrome here and nice chrome there. And it didn't foobar anything else up. It didn't harm anything. You remember how we cut this bar off, but it didn't make any difference because it, it saw, saw it from something else. It saw it from the original. It didn't see it from what we did. We just added this, and by the grace of God, it jumped back onto the original spot because it could be a real fucking pisser to get that to work in another way. Now, unfortunately, all these other rods and shit are not chrome, and it, we would have to go back and... and yeah, I'm not going to, though. We're going to leave it alone. That is a happy little camper, just like he is. So that's how you do it. How to get started with the 3D editor. Now, it would have been nice if we could have had this bracket chrome, and now uh, you can go back and do that another another time to, the, to your heart's... Uh, happiness and notice this thing right here if we didn't want that it's all we have to do is go back in and remove it now let's do that just to show you that we, this is this would finish this episode up nicely let's go back to our 3d editor let's go and import this happy little guy he'll jump right in there like a mouse and now you'll notice everything is not pink it's the color of chrome because now it understands what it's looking for. We always have to go to file. We have to save. Now, we go to materials. See that it's got that name? So just put a one or whatever you want after it and save that. Now it'll save that happy as can be. Now, if we want to come over here and, and monkey with this, all we have to do is we right mouse click it, go to this object and hit remove now it's done it doesn't have to have the chrome anymore now what about this here see you'd have to go back just like we did before if you were determined to have those things chrome but we're not going to do that we're going to say fuck it for now 
Now what about this color? Now see it's mech parts. Everything with mech parts is going to be that. But now what happens when we touch these? What is this called? This is called... Oh, well, because, yeah, that's naturally it would be. Hang on. Let's go to this. Well, ah, see, Mac Parts 2. That's, was, that's what we did, Mac Parts 2. So we changed the name of that. Now, same thing we could do if we wanted to do the, the uh, Chrome Springs or whatever the deal. We'd have to do it like that. So I hope this was a help to you. Um... Oh, now that we, we uh, removed that part from there, then we have to simply just close it out by doing this and then go make ourselves another KN5 to go in here and that'll show uh, the removal. Just right. It's always nice to have this say R-E-M-O-V-A-L, removal. Okay, and then we'll know where we are. There's an ant crawling on my TV and it's freaking me out, so... That's why I, in a minute I'm going to go and pop that fucker. Okay, let's get out of here. In fact, I'm going to get him now. Hang on. You fucker. I learned last year the hard way you don't throw something. That's how I fucked up and broke my uh, connection. All right. That was that easy to do. Just that easy. Um, hang on. I'll be right back. Alrighty then, so we're almost done guys, almost done. Bear with me just a second because you have to find out if the thing's going to run. Uh, let's go to the little folder. Alright, if we, if we tried to launch it just like it is right now, we're going to see exactly what we had because it's going to run off of this. Now remember, we've got that one right there and we've got the original one, so we can delete this. Just like that. Then we change the name of this to be original. That's why you put a nice line there so you can remember only what it's supposed to have. Okay, now we can go to the materials and get rid of both of these because they take up a lot of space. We don't gonna ever need them again, so get rid of them. Okay, now we're all everybody's happy. Everyone is happy. So come on. I don't think we need that either. We don't need this. But you know what? Rather than just shit can the thing, what I'm going to do, where's our Lotus 49? Oh, there it is. Right here. Sometimes it's, it's just easier to do this, in just in case you're going to need it. All right? Now let's come back to here. 
we got to make sure the little sucker will run. And uh, there's our Lotus 49. Let's up. Uh, let's redo the previews. Go to options. See the little window uh, drop down. Go to options. It will bring up a whole another little palette of stuff. Right there. And it'll show you where you are. Um, and we're just gonna hit. Um, go ahead and redo them. It doesn't have that many skins anyway. It should go at a good clip. Okay, once you've once it's happy, highlight this and close it, and there we are. So, let's go to our showroom. It takes a while because it's going to this on the shore type of deal. So there we can see everybody's happy, and we removed that bar, which would not be uh, realistic, although it wouldn't have hurt it at all. But it just wouldn't have looked the same. And so here we have a beautiful Lotus 49. Not as quite as nice as Michael's, but it's certainly a start. So will it run? That's what we've got to find out next. So let's go up here to drive. And let's uh, fetch the little Lotus 49. That's him. Let's just go to practice so it doesn't take a long time. And let's see if it'll run. Because coming in and out of the 3D editor is always an experience. You're never 100% sure if it's going to find the problem and be unable to run. Or And, whew, boy, that startled me. I figured it'd shit the bed right then and there. But I think it's going to be okay. Because the things that I found that caused problems, we alleviated right off the bat. There's our happy car. The totally adjustable bullshit here. And there's one other thing I'm going to show you while we're at this. But let's just go and drive it, just for fun. Oh, we have no lights. Okay. Okay, it's happy. It runs. It runs like a champ. Let's take a peek a Rooney at it. Our beautiful chrome wheels with, a, with nothing hurt on the insides. Look at those pipes. Those pipes look great. Our trumpets look kind of fucked up. But, but our not so chrome, which is kind of nice. So obviously you could go back in, you could take your time, you could do things a little better than we've done, but that at least is a start. That is a start, a good start. Now if you want to have six gears rather than five, it's not all that difficult to do. Um, and I can show you how to do it right quick and then we're done. Oh, how's that grab you? So let's go to the little 49. Now we got to the data folder on purpose. So we're going to open up the data folder. And we are going to go to the drive line. Right here. First of all, before we go to the drive line, let's go down to the setup. Let's open the setup with a notepad. Gear set. Unless you want a monkey with individual gears, we're going to put a 1, okay? The 0 lets you monkey with individual gears. Now let's come all the way down to the gear ratios, all right? See, it's only got 5, and uh, there's a reason for that. So what I want you to do is take number 2 gear ratio and highlight it. Control-C. Now we want to come down to the very bottom, highlight the edge of that, and hit your back bar twice, and hit V. I want you to change the 2 to a 6, and I'll change the 1 to a 0. You've just done it. Yay! No, you haven't. No, you want a 6. I'm sorry. I do want a 6. You're right. 
there's a 6, I want a 6.5. Okay. Now just save it. Alright, we can get out of the LODs. But now we got to come up to actually put the thing in there. Drive train. Okay. Gear count. Needs to now say 6. Okay. Now we got to have a 6 gear. Alright, now this is where I wanted to show you number 2. Control C, Bing, Control V. Now that becomes a zero, and this becomes a six. Bing, Crosby. We're done. Now you've got a six speed transmission in this happy little car. Isn't he liking it? I can hear you. That's wonderful, but will it work? Well, the proof is about to be seen. Let's go back and take a look and see if it, we got six gears now. And if they make sense. Or are they nasty? And then I'll, I'll get this right up on YouTube. And for anybody who's working with this 3D sim ed, this might be some steps that will help you along your journey. Let's just hit go. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. I used to really struggle with trying to come up with gear ratios and all that other shit. And then that little uh -oh, voice said, you know, you, you could be a hell of a lot farther ahead if you just do it this way. That's all she wrote. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>